everyone, it's me Bernice and today I'm going to do an updated makeup routine. The last time I did a makeup routine in general was over four years ago when I started this YouTube channel, but ever since then I have implemented various techniques into my makeup routine as well as trying out some new products that have been my tried and true. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we're gonna start with this sunscreen right here. This is from Beauty of Joseon. I love using sunscreen so much. I've heard a lot about Beauty of Joseon. As you can tell, it's brand new. I haven't even used it. I've been dying to use this product in a long time. I have been implementing sunscreens into my routine for the past two years because I thought it wasn't important but it turns out it does matter. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Next I'm going to take this e.l.f. primer. I love this primer so much. My sister actually recommended this product to me a while back. So I normally use expensive primers, but she said this is a really, really good dupe, especially if you have like really porous skin, which I have. Just along the eyes, obviously. Gotta get everything in there. Forehead, the nose, the T-zone. After priming my face, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. brow lift. I've had a history of really boxy eyebrows. And when I found out that this was a thing, listen, it was great. This is honestly one of my favorite products. I implemented this e.l.f. brow lift a year ago and it actually is amazing for my eyebrows. I have naturally thick brows. I don't need a lot of product when applying this product into my brows. I just do a simple dip and it just works wonders. And I'm just gonna shape it up with this Morphe spoolie brush. Let's go on the other side. I've always had a problem of filling my brows. I've been really nervous of doing makeup on camera because my eyebrows are horrible, like how I used to fill them out. I'm not as insecure anymore when I first started out doing my brows. Let's keep going. You're wondering, why is it like that? I'm going to use this Morphe spoolie brush and just shape it like so. Eyebrows are lifted and in place and now I'm going to take this NYX HD concealer and this is honestly one of my tried and trues. I love it so much. Very affordable and I'm just placing it all over where I have acne scars. I know it's really bad but that's how I normally use this concealer now but before I used to place it under my brows and I'm like that's not it. <laughs> There's well. Okay, I'm gonna let this set a little bit. I'm not gonna blend it right away, but I don't have time to let it set, so I'm gonna use this fan that I got from Timu and just let it dry. The concealer has dried, and I'm going to blend it in with this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Just stab it. After blending the concealer, I'm going to go in with a skin tint. I only use a skin tint during the summer, but during the cooler seasons of fall and winter, I use a foundation. And the skin tint I'm going to use is this. This is from Fenty Beauty. I know the skin tint shade because it correlates with my Fenty Beauty uh, Soft Matte Foundation. If you want to know what your skin tint shade is, just know your Pro Filter Soft Matte Liquid Foundation shade. I'm going to take this IT Cosmetics brush. This brush is only at Ulta, and we're just going to go in right here. Okay. 
I am using this technique of putting the skin tint on the brush because when I was looking for a skin tint, the lady at Ulta did this trick and she said this does work a lot. So I'm just going to buff it. I just applied the skin tint all over my face and looking at it there are some streaks whenever I see streaks I go in with a cushion in this case a cushion puff and just fix it and this cushion puff is from Jung Sam Mool now I'm gonna go in with this MAC paint pot and what I'm going to do is use this and apply it over my eyelid I used to use a different eyeshadow base I love using the paint pots from Mac they're a little pricey but they get the job done I used to go with painterly but painterly was way way too light for me but this one in soft ochre did the job just Fine. Now I'm going to go in with a matte powder to set my eyelids and I'm going to use this from NYX. I normally use the HD found powder but they were out the last time I bought this one so this one works just as fine. I have used, it is starting to be my go-to. I have been obsessed with translucent powders for over four years now. I started using translucent powders when I went to UC Irvine and I have noticed a difference in my makeup. Now we're gonna go in with an eyeliner. This is the Slick Flick from Makeup Revolution. I'm very cautious of how I do my eyeliner on camera, so I'll probably do one side here and then the other side off camera. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm just very concentrated of how I do my eyeliner. Okay, I just did this side and I'm gonna do this side off camera. So I just did my eyeliner on this eye off camera. I wish there was a way we can just copy, paste, and adjust, but there isn't. So I'm going to brighten my eyes with this e.l.f. concealer and where I'm going to place it is right here right underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. I know it's really really pale but I really like it and plus when you blend it out you don't even notice it so I'm going to let this dry That's the trend lately of just like blending it out upwards to get a lifting effect and yes it is getting in my hairs but it's okay I'll fix it later and we're gonna do the under eye brighten my under eyes with the elf concealer and now I'm going to set everything and I'm going to use the same powder I use on my eyes like I said this is like my go-to pressed translucent powder one of my favorites I like the HD one a little bit more but the can't stop won't stop one from NYX does, works just as fine so as you can tell I'm not dragging I'm just dabbing all over my face I'm trying to avoid my nostrils too this brush is from the real tech I don't have a definitive brush set, but rather different brushes from different companies and I only get the ones that I personally like. So I have stuff from like Morphe, Real Techniques, um, Be Bella. I'll take the, the, the make it flat right here and just go under the eye. As you can tell, I'm not baking. I'm just setting it. I am not going too extreme with my powder. In high school and my first years of college, I did bake. It was really, really difficult. But when I found out this is a little bit of a better option for me, I was like, why not? So I'm going to 
contour my nose and I'm going to take this next matte bronzer in medium and I'm just gonna shape out my nose I've been very insecure about the shape of my nose as long as I can remember just something I can't fix well you can't fix if you have money but I'm not about that life I just rather like you know shape it a little too much so what i'm going to do is going to go back in with this nyx matte powder and just soften it up a little bit because my face is like super dull in a way i'm going to put some blush on my cheeks i'm going to take this tried and true this is from milani and i'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks This blush is that it's a perfect shade of coral but it doesn't overpower my face but it does shimmer like whenever I move my face like this I can see the shimmer all over my cheeks I find my the apples of my cheeks by smiling which is right here this is still intense of a blush for me so I'm gonna go back in with the same powder brush that I used to set my face and just soften it up a little bit like so so i just wiped off the lip balm and i'm going to apply some lipstick and lip gloss this combo right here is absolutely amazing this is from mac and this is in the shade velvet teddy and this one is from nyx this is the this is milky gloss and milk and honey it's a perfect nude and it works year round and i'm going to apply this onto my lips to take in this milky gloss right here I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm using this eyelash curler from elf it's one of my favorite eyelash curlers right now and I think I like six dollars I'm gonna use a drugstore mascara and I'm gonna use the telescopic mascara right here I did do a review of the telescopic lift and out of those two this is still my tried and true this is one of the first mascaras i have ever used when starting out with makeup this mascara is absolutely my tried and true when i started using makeup in high school i definitely kept this in my i would consider it like a holy grail, holy grail product for me because it lifts your lashes very well and it doesn't look very clumpy when doing so which is a good thing so i'm gonna coat that right there all right everything is done i'm going to set my face with this matte setting spray from nyx another try to true of mine So this is the final look. I took off my hair clip off camera. I added a few products into this routine like the lip gloss and the lipstick combo. Before that, I used to use liquid lipsticks and now I don't. I don't use brow products, like heavy brow products on my eyebrows. I'd rather just keep it simple, keep it natural. Obviously, you can tell I have brightened my under eyes. But other than that, this is basically it. And if you're wondering how I'm going to reapply my sunscreen while, I go, while I'm out, I'm going to use this. This is the super Super Goop Resetting 100% Mineral Powder. They have a spray sunscreen, but this is great if you have oily skin, and that is gonna go in this little mini pouch that I carry for work and everyday use. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!